happy Friday, Jolly friends. I'm actually back for the morning with you and my little Olive here. I wanted to participate in this week's Theme Thursday, and um, which was buttons and bows. And so I wanted to come on with my Olive. She is the Tink Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And she is still in her Christmas sleeper. <laughs> I have not been in the nursery too much as far as playing with the babies because I've been sick. And life has been um, keeping, from, keeping me from my happy place. So anyway, I thought I'd come on and do a little, uh, kind of like a tag that I watched on Suzanne's Babies. As she answered this question, it's just one question, but I had a lot to think about when I, I was listening to her, I could relate to so much of what she said. So I'm going to do that tag with you and change my precious little olive here into her theme Thursday outfit. So her theme Thursday outfit is from our dear friend, Jan Binkley. And even though it's still a little cool out, I wanted to go ahead and try this on her because of buttons and bows. And this outfit is perfect for that because it is a little dress and it has two yellow heart buttons on the front and three green ribbons down the side. Three green bows. It's got some little ducks on it and a bow in the back. And it has a little bonnet with a ribbon and some little lace bloomers with a bow on the back. And two little white booties with little bows on them. So I'm gonna try that on my sweet little girl here and have a little talk with you before I head off to work. And I'm so thankful that it's Friday. I am so ready for some rest. But this week has been a much, a big improvement. Uh, standing on my feet this week was not as challenging as last week. So I'm thankful for that. So let's get started. Yeah, I had been sick. And then after the sickness was gone, um... I think I tested too early actually for COVID after talking to some people. I think that is probably what I did have, but I can't say for sure because I took the test quickly and it was negative, but um, a friend of mine just got over COVID and our symptoms were so similar. But anyway, whatever it was, it's gone. And then at the end of my sickness, um, it settled into my tooth. Now this tooth has had a root canal, so I really shouldn't have been able to feel any pain, but it was the worst pain I felt in a very long time. And I had to go to the dentist last Monday and they shot some medicine. First of all, they, they gave me some Novocaine and, you know, took some pictures of the tooth because you couldn't really touch it. It was very uh, very sore and uh, they took some pictures and they um, you know they uh, shot some medicine in it because I had an infection from my sickness um, I really wanted them to just take it out it's had a root canal those roots should not I mean the tooth should not hurt and it and it it was um, I've had three children <laughs> naturally without any medication and um this pain that I felt uh, was inhumane. It was horrible pain. But anyway, he wouldn't take the tooth out. Um, so anyway, I'm better now. I'm just afraid the next time I get sick, I'm going to experience that, that same pain. But um, anyway, I'm better for the time being. <laughs> but it was something I don't ever want to go through again. It was really awful. So, yeah, that's why I've been away. I just have not been well, but I'm I'm getting there. 
like I said, this week, um, I've been able to laugh and, and carry on and, um, enjoy my customers and stay on my feet without feeling just horrible. So thank you, Lord, for that. And, and, um, never take our health for granted because when it's gone, it, it's really scary. So, okay. So this question, what has this hobby taught you about yourself? Oh man, when I, when I listened to Suzanne's answers on this and and I just thought about myself also and my babies. And the word that just kept going through my mind when I thought about how it's changed me and how I've changed through this hobby with my, my babies. Um, I am fiercely protective of this hobby. I am fiercely protective of my babies. Um, I, I think sometimes in real life, not on YouTube, but in my real life, <clears throat> with the people that I interact with every day, this hobby can be very lonely because I can't share that. I can't share it. Look at this little bow. <laughs> See her little bow on her bottom? Isn't that cute? I love this outfit, Jan. I couldn't wait any longer to try it on her. So even though there's snow on the ground here, I, I'm I'm giving in. <laughs> and so far, I mean, these pants fit her perfectly. Do you see? Here, let me turn her up here. I love this baby so much. Yeah, I find myself fiercely protective of this hobby of mine um, and my little ones. Um, my family especially in the beginning, like Suzanne, um, my, my sons were not on board with, with this, this hobby. And, uh, I, I did, I, and I don't have a huge following, you know, but, and nobody probably even knew I was gone because I didn't have, when I first started, I didn't have very many followers, obviously. And, um, so I, I, I did delete all of my videos off of my YouTube and I was very sad about it. The jokes that my son was saying about, about it and the way I talked about things. And so for, for a, a small period of time, I did delete the videos off of YouTube permanently and I, I did, I did keep the videos on my phone. So, um, I, I uploaded them again when I decided to come back because I missed, even though I didn't have a big following, the people that did like my dolls in the beginning, I missed that. You know, I wanted to share these little ones with somebody, you know, I mean, it's wonderful to enjoy them yourself, but when you have beautiful babies, you want to share them. And, and it was amazing to me when I found Suzanne, how many people were like me that did love their dolls the way that I do. And so I decided to come back and he still gives me a hard time about it, you know, about my channel sometimes. But I think, I think he has at least grown to appreciate, um, you know, I don't know, appreciate my feelings toward it. He doesn't understand um, spending that amount of money, the amount of money that I do on babies. And that's a huge issue with it. You know, the babies are not cheap. And we are not, we're, we're not a, a wealthy family. You know, we struggle. And so um, I'm just putting a little bit of conditioner in her hair. Um, so he doesn't understand me spending money like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a doll, I think is his thing. But you know, I do work full time and 90% of my paychecks go to bills. And so, you know, if I'm working full time, a part of me feels like, why am I working if I'm not going to enjoy anything that I bring home? I don't have anything... That brings me joy. 
you know, if it's all going to bills, you know, my husband streams different entertainment on, you know, our big screen TV. He has a huge TV to enjoy movies and that's his thing. And I like to watch it with him, but it's really his thing. I would rather be in here in the nursery sometimes than watching stuff and he pays money for those every month and that's his thing. And this right here, these are my thing. And when I pay on them every month, it comes out of my, you know, it's my account. I pay on it every month. It, you know, I, I, I just, I had to get to that point where I was a little bit selfish and said, I have to have this. You know, my kids are going to be leaving home. I've got one left at home and he's going to be a senior coming up and they have their own lives, you know, and I need, I just needed something of my own and that's, that's okay. I, that is okay. Just like Suzanne said, you know, um, we, you know, we take care of our kids all those years and our husbands and we need something of our own. And, you know, there's nothing better than this, you know, and I won't give it up. I won't. And they don't understand it. <clears throat> and it may be a little bit selfish on my part, but it brings me huge joy. And we have to have something that makes us happy in our lives, you know. Otherwise, why are we here, you know? My daughter's going to be 26. And I have a son that's getting married. And then I have a son that's got one more year left of high school. And he loves me, but I, I kind of already feel in the way with him where there's things he doesn't want to share. And he feels that I'm too nosy about things. And I have to have a place to go for myself. And that's with these babies. I love them. I'm very fiercely protective of them. And, uh... I think now that that is okay, you know, so it has taught me that, yeah, I'm protective and I'm, I'm a little selfish, I guess. Um, I think they think I'm a little selfish because of what I spend on it, but it is money that I pay every month. I don't ask my husband to pay it for me. I take care of it. And, um, I think we have to have something. I mean, it's so, it's so crazy. Like, um, I was talking to Suzanne. She had bought some clothes from a children's salon and so had some nice hauls of clothes and stuff. And there was an outfit that she had bought for Beatrix that I thought would be perfect for my Sally. And um, she sent me the link to where she got it. And so I told her, I said, well, I'm going to bring it up to my husband. Valentine's Day is coming up, you know, and instead of buying roses that are going to die in a matter of three, four days, this is something that I can enjoy with my dolls. Um, I also have Valentina that could wear the outfit. And, um, you know, I would have it all the time. So <laughs> the other day I mentioned it to him. I said, you know, honey, Maybe this year, these little booties fit her perfect. Can you see, Jan? I love this outfit. She looks so darling. <laughs> um, I mentioned to him, I said, you know, I wanted to, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I wanted to mention something to you. I said, you know, instead of roses like we do usually, would it be okay if I bought this outfit? It's on clearance, and... um it would be perfect for one of my babies. And you know, he just went silent. He never even responded. <laughs> he didn't say a word. He didn't say yes. He didn't say no. It was just complete silence. <clears throat> so I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe he's already got flowers in the works. I don't know. But uh, he wasn't. I could just tell he... He didn't want to talk about it. So anyway, uh, it, it just little things like that. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I have to be protective of this hobby and protective of my babies. Um, it is hard because, you know, new sculpts come along 
and uh, this is an expensive hobby. They're beautiful works of art, and the people that, uh, that paint these babies and root these babies uh, spend hours and hours and hours of time lovingly bringing these babies to life for us. And there's always new sculpts that come along. And uh, I haven't gotten to the point, and this is my problem, I guess. I haven't got to the point where I can part with them in order to bring a new one home. So that is, that's part of the struggle. You know, if I would sell some, maybe I could bring new ones home and it wouldn't be such an issue. But for me, I just want to keep them all. <laughs> I don't want to part with them. And I'm not saying I never will, um, because there's things I'd like to experience, um, sculpts I'd like to experience. Look at these little feet. Uh, there's, uh, some sculpts like, um, the Laura sculpt by Bonnie Brown that's out now. Oh my goodness. Um, there was one for sale on reborns.com, which was out of my price range. Um, but I was keeping an eye on it just, just to see, you know, um, she sold within hours, but she was so beautiful. Have you seen that sculpt, Laura by Bonnie Brown? I want to own that someday. <laughs> And uh, I would like to experience a silicone sometime, just one. Um, but I think it would be neat to experience that. It may never happen. Um, I don't have that kind of money. Uh, my most expensive doll is my Beth Ann, um, the Frida Sculpt by Carola Wegerich. And um, she's my most expensive. Um, but the silicones are just so expensive. But it is something that I would like to experience someday. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm fiercely protective. And I feel it's also taught me how wonderful the community is. Um, I've met amazing people through this, um, this hobby of mine and through my babies selfless people um that send gifts to these babies of mine um out of pure love for them and um i this is a like the people in my everyday life like my friends in everyday life do not know about my channel my friend at work that i'm very close with she knows about the channel but i won't share it with her she can't find it and i won't tell her because She's going to think it's silly, you know, here I am on YouTube sharing babies, changing babies, um, weighing babies. Um, she won't understand it, you know, so I haven't shared the name of my channel. She hasn't been able to find it yet. And, you know, my mom knows about my channel. Obviously, my family does. Um, but my everyday people. Uh, no, no, I can't. I'm too. They don't understand it. They think it's foolish, but it's not foolish to me. Um, it is a sacred place for me to be with these babies. And I've, I've met wonderful people and, um, it's so fun to come on and, and be able to share them with you. And I, I love you all honestly and truly, and thank you for loving my babies and listening to me ramble <laughs> and, um, you know, spoiling my babies and, um, and just loving them and um, encouraging me on my channel. And um, you have no idea, you know, when I work all the time and I come home and I'm tired and, and a perfect video comes on where somebody has a message or a beautiful outfit or my favorite baby come on, it changes my whole day. And your comments are very precious to me. I love that you love my babies and I love my babies. And so that's what this hobby is, has taught me that there are others out there that love babies as much as I do. And, um, and to be a little selfish with this hobby, because you have to have something, you have to have something to, to bring you joy. And, and this is where it is for me. So she looks beautiful, Jan. What do you think? Look at this. <laughs> I just love this baby and she looks so perfect in this green. So there she is for theme Thursday, little Miss Olive. 
in her olive green little ducky outfit from my sweet Jan Binkley. Thank you so much for thinking of us. And here's her little cow. <laughs> so, and the cow has a bow. Look, the cow is dressed for Theme Thursday. The cow has a bow. So thanks everybody for listening to me. You should do this tag. Think about it. How has this hobby changed you? You know, what has it taught you about yourself? Uh, I, I found it very thought provoking and I think you will too. So join in with us guys. Um, I love you all. Have a great weekend, a quiet weekend and continue finding joy in the little things. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And here we have my little joy and she is hanging out here on the bobby in this gorgeous one piece set from Jan Binkley. And it also goes perfect in this theme Thursday with the bows down the front. It has little pink bows all down the front to shut this little preemie outfit. Um, it doesn't have any buttons or anything, just these little bows. And it is just a beautiful white color, kind of a ribbed material, uh, very soft. And whoop, got my finger in the way, sorry. Um, and then I just put um, this little preemie crochet hat on that was my daughter Megan's when she came home from the hospital um, after being in, in the NICU. So yeah, I still have it and it is also closed and it has a little white ribbon. So there is my little joy for you and I was going to put these little pink socks on her but who would want to cover up these scrumptious little toes? <laughs> Look at these little toes. Who would want to cover up these little toes? So she doesn't, I might put them on her later, but for now I'm enjoying these little feet. I love this sculpt so much. See the little scratch on her hand? Yeah, this is a beautiful sculpt. And um, I just wanted to share her with you for this week's theme. Precious baby. Okay, so before I close out, <laughs> I've had these girls, my two girls, uh, dressed for a couple of weeks now, and I've never showed them because I got sick. So they were dressed for the blue theme, the girls dressed in blue, and I never got to show them. So here they are. Uh, Beth Ann has on this beautiful set. Uh, that I bought myself for Christmas. <laughs> um, it has this adorable hat. It's a knit hat. And as you can see, it has a cream colored bow on the top. So it goes also with this week's theme. And it has some pretty knit cream lace, um, or not lace, but it looks lacy to me. Um, this knit around her neck here. And then the sleeves have beautiful detailing. And then down on the dress, there are little cream colored hearts and cream at the bottom. And then she's got cream colored tights on and her gold shoes with the white pom-poms. Beautiful outfit that I found in South Dakota. And I wanted to share her in that with you today. And then I have my sassy girl, and she was dressed in blue for the theme. She has on this beautiful headband that was gifted to us, and little white flowers, pink around the butterfly sleeves, and yeah, it's just a romper, and it's got, she's got on her little ruffled socks from our sweet friend Suzanne from Suzanne's Babies and some little cloth light pink shoes. But she does go with this theme this week of bows. Um, let's see. Yeah, bows and buttons. Because here is a bow 
on her pacifier. So there are my two big girls for you for this week's Theme Thursday.